Just because summer fruits are so quickly gone is no reason to do without their flavors until next year. For this reason, we make jam. For our jam, you will need strawberries, raspberries, jars you've been saving all year, and sugar. Because strawberries arrive earlier in the season, you can cook these first and freeze the puree. Don't wash the fruit, it will go soggy. But do inspect it for bruising while topping and cutting the berries into smaller pieces. Even though raspberries set very well, we still add the juice of one lemon per pound of strawberries. Masticate the fruit in the lemon juice for about 15 minutes. Ensure there is plenty of juice before cooking at a moderate heat for about 12 minutes. We have used 5 pounds of both fruits. This is a very large amount of fruit and will cause problems unless you have a very large saucepan. We recommend you use smaller quantities of everything, keeping the proportions the same. After pureeing the fruit, it is ready for freezing until the raspberries are in season. When they arrive, pick over the raspberries and weigh out the fruit. You don't need to add liquid to the raspberries before cooking, but be sure to start them off at a low heat to prevent burning. While the fruit is cooking, turn on the oven so you can warm up the sugar. This helps the sugar dissolve more quickly in the cooked fruit. Add the strawberries to the cooked raspberries and heat. Take note of the level of the liquid in the pan, as this is important later. Once the mixed fruit is hot, we are ready for the sugar. Take the saucepan off the heat and stir in the sugar Make very sure that the sugar is completely dissolved before putting the pan back on the heat. Gently bring back to boiling. While waiting for the fruit to reach boiling point, get your clean, dry jars and lids ready. Place them in the oven at about 105 degrees Celsius, which sterilizes them. Remember, you have to stay with the pan at all times. When the surface level has dropped back to its original level, and you see a jelly begin to set around the edge of the pan, you are ready to test for a jam set. Take the jam off the heat and leave to settle for 10 to 15 minutes before filling the jars. The jam is still very hot, so be careful. Wear kitchen gloves when putting on the lids, turning them light tightly. Leave them to set if there are spillages on the jars, then wipe them with a cold, damp cloth. All the cleanup job for the saucepans should be done with cold water. The lids pop as the jam cools, sealing the jars. Bon appetit!